In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a wire figure. We're going to do this together as a class, going slow step by step. If you are a wire rock star and wire is your thing, I'd love for you to be a helper once I've checked you off and I know that you understand it and you can help out your fellow classmates. So when we begin, you're going to get your wire do remember that these edges can be sharp and we're not going to play around with them, swing them around because these can scratch your eyes if they get too close. So we're going to be very careful with these little ends here. So step one is to make sure your ends are together. Go ahead and place them in one hand and then move with your other hand all the way up, 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 up until you get a little loop right here. Once you've got a loop, you're going to cross the wires together and just so you know I could probably fit about three fingers through my loop. I cannot fit four, that's a little tight. Three comfortably, two's a little bit too small. So once I can fit about three through then I'm going to take my twisting hand and notice that my helping hand is pinching that intersecting wire. So it's pinching it, holding it tight and then my helping hand is going to twist one time and then two times. So I've twisted it two times and that's the first step. You can see I've got my head here and I've got my um, two ends over here. Because I've twisted it, um, I can still fit three fingers through but it's getting a little bit tighter. You can widen it out, making it look more rounded like a head shape if you want. If you do that, you might have a hard time sticking in three fingers. But. This is about the size of a quarter. And now I'm going to stop the video and we're going to do it together as a class. So once we have, everyone has their head, what you're going to do now is you're going to take these two ends and turn them horizontal. So I've got my head over here and one uh, wire on one side and one wire on the other. Then I am going to, I'm going to create the arms. So I'm doing this section right now. I'm going to go and do this arm and this arm. Now the way I like to do it is I like to hold, put the palm of my hand and smush it, smush the head down. So I'm going to put the palm of my hand down and smush the hand down and I'm going to line up my middle finger on the wire and then I'll take the wire and bend it back over my middle finger. Then I will move my middle finger out of the way so it kind of looks like this. Then I'm going to grab that to those two wires and with my twisting hand, I'm going to twist one time, two times, three times. Once I've twisted three times, I'm going to take the extra wire. So notice that this side hasn't been touched. I'm not, I'm not doing anything with this side right here. I'm going to take that extra wire that didn't get twisted for this arm. I'm going to bring it straight down. All right, I'm going to demonstrate that one more time using the other wire. And then we'll do it together as a class. So I'm going to take the palm of my hand, squish the face down. My, re my middle finger is going to lay down on top of the wire. So right now my middle finger is on top of that wire. I'm going to take this wire and bring it back on top of my middle finger, just like this. And then I'm going to slide my hand out. Now I'm going to pinch those two wires together. It's folded in, so now it's two wires. And then I'm going to, with my twisting hand, I'm going to twist one time, two time, three times. If you need a fourth time, go for it, but don't go all twist crazy. I would definitely not do more than four. Now with this extra wire here, I'm going to bring it down. Here we go. 
and now it's brought down. So at this point, I have a head and two arms. So now I'm going to pause the video and we are going to do it together as a class. I'm going to take these, and what we're going to work on next is going to be this torso area. So I'm going to take these two wires, and do not worry if they're not even. That is okay. But I'm going to cross them to, so that they make an X. And I don't want to do it too tight, because then you can see it, shat, it, it begins to drag down my shoulders. But I don't want to do it too loose either because too loose means that my body is going to be way too long. So I'm going to find a good spot right, right here, right around the middle. And if I can measure, that's one head, that's two heads. And then I'm going to, this is kind of hard, but I've got my twisting fingers on one side and my twisting fingers on the other side, and both hands are going to twist in opposite directions at the same time. I've twisted two times. All right, so I'm going to just demonstrate that one more time. And sometimes it comes undone. So you might do this, and then it comes undone, and you might do it again. So I'm going to cross them so that they make an X. You can see the X right here. And I'm going to take my twisty fingers on one side. Twisty fingers on the other, and go in opposite directions. One twist, and two twists. There I have my body. So next, I'm going to do my legs. So for my legs, this is one leg, this is another leg. So what I like to do, I don't need my figure to be super tall and I don't need it to be super short, so I'm gonna kinda eyeball where I want the leg to be. If I bend it like this, you can see, whoa, that's way too short of a leg. And I also don't really want to bend it way, way down here because then my leg is gonna be way too long. So I'm gonna find a good space and if I do want to measure, here's my torso, one, two. So right about here, I'm going to bend it back on itself. And then I'm going to grab it with my holding hand and twist about three to four times with my twisting hand. One, two, three, four. Now this extra wire here can be slightly annoying as it can poke up. Try the best that you can to wrap it around your torso or your leg and try not to nab yourself with it because it can get quite pokey. And then in order for this to be a standing figure, I'll just take this little uh, loop right here and bend it upwards so then it becomes a foot. Let's watch how that happens again with my other leg. So I measure, that's one, that's two, right about here looks good and I have my other foot to help me uh, measure it. So then I'm going to place my finger down right about where I want the foot to be, bend it back in on itself. Then I'm going to take my holding hand, going to hold the two wires, twisting hand, going to twist once, twice, three times, four times. I'm going to bend that foot up. This annoying little bit here, I'm going to try as best I can to wrap it around until it goes into the leg or the body, however much I need it to. All right, and once you're done, you can play around with how you want it to um, be posed. Although we are gonna decorate them, so posing it is just temporary as you will probably end up unposing it in order to decorate it with other wires. But there you have your wire figure.